Hey guys, this is Jake with P3 Gauges. In today's video, we're gonna go through everything you need to know to read ethanol content on your E85 fueled vehicle. In recent years, E85 has become extremely popular. We've gotten lots of requests for our gauges to read E85, but the problem is most vehicles don't come with a factory ethanol sensor. There's also lots of sensors on the market that you can add to your vehicle, but the output they give doesn't work well with most gauges. So we wanted to come up with a solution that lets our gauge work with very common sensors and is easy to install. And that solution is the ESVA, which stands for Ethanol Sensor Voltage Adapter. And what this is going to do is go in line between your existing ethanol sensor and your existing gauge and do some translating between the two so that they can work well together. The most common sensors out on the market are the GM Continental Ethanol Sensors. There's two basic layouts. We have this one, one with a little bit larger body, but they both work the same way. Fuel goes through the sensor and they have a three wire harness. You typically have a red, black, and white wire. Red is gonna be your 12 volt power source. Black's gonna be a ground. This should be run to a chassis ground, not a signal ground used by other sensors under the hood. And you have your white signal output. This is that 50 to 150 Hertz output we talked about before. It has not only ethanol content, but fuel temperature on it also. This needs to get over to our ESVA which has a five wire harness on it. Again, we have those same white, black, and red wires. White is gonna to go to the white wire on the ethanol sensor. Black is going to go to a chassis ground. Red is a 12 volt power source. And that leaves us with our two output wires. These are both gonna be a zero to five volt linear output that runs from the sensor adapter to your gauge. Brown is gonna be ethanol content. Blue is gonna be fuel temperature. And those run right over to your gauge's harness. And if you have our V2, V3, or analog gauge, all three of those are gonna have the brown and blue input wires on the harness. Brown is input one, blue is input two. Those match right up to your ESVA. Now all you have to do is go into the configuration menu of your gauge and set up each analog input. If you've got our V3 or analog gauge, you can just go into AN.1 and AN.2 and set those to the pre-configured setups we put in there for you. A1 is going to be EC, which is ethanol content, and A2 will be FT, which is fuel temperature. If you have our older V2, which has been out for a little over 10 years now, that gauge will need you to put in the minimum and maximum values manually. If you need those values, jump over to the ESVA product page. There's a PDF you can download and print out there that'll give you all the minimum and maximum values to input into your gauge. And now you're ready to start your vehicle and read your ethanol content and fuel temperature on your P3 gauge. So whether you've already got a gauge and you're looking to add ethanol content to it, or if you just added an ethanol system to your car and you're looking for a complete setup, we've got you covered. Just click the link down below and I'll take you over to our website, p3gauges.com. If you have any questions or want to see anything else, let us know in the comments below or email us, service at p3cars.com. <laughs>